Daiichi Sankyo, advancing drug capabilities through antibody drug conjugates. Antibody drug conjugates, or ADCs, utilizing our DXD ADC technology, are the culmination of decades of innovative drug design. To understand Daiichi Sankyo's DXD ADC technology, let's examine the three main components that make up an ADC and the important roles they play. The first is a monoclonal antibody designed to selectively bind to cell surface proteins that are expressed in cancer cells. Next is the payload, used for its potent cytotoxic effects against target and neighboring tumor cells. Finally, a linker is used to conjugate these components to facilitate targeted delivery of the payload. Advancements in ADC technology offer an innovative approach to targeted cancer therapy. Recognizing the potential of ADCs, we dedicated our efforts to developing DXD ADC technology. This icon represents the innovation of Daiichi Sankyo's DXD ADC technology and the promise of the linker payload. Through innovation, our DXD ADCs deliver on the potential of ADC technology in oncology treatment. Let's explore the important characteristics of DXD ADCs. This breakthrough technology gets its name from the highly potent cytotoxic agent known as DXD. DXD is a topoisomerase 1 inhibitor that exhibits potent cytotoxicity by inducing DNA damage after release, leading to tumor cell death. It features a short systemic half-life and is also membrane permeable, resulting in elimination of both target and neighboring cells present in the tumor microenvironment. This is known as the bystander anti-tumor effect. Several molecules of DXD are covalently linked to the monoclonal antibody using a stable enzyme-cleavable linker. Each tetrapeptide-based linker is conjugated to the antibody and payload in an optimized drug-to-antibody ratio, or DAR. The linker is designed to be selectively cleaved by intracellular lysosomal enzymes that are upregulated in cancer cells. These components make up Daiichi Sankyo's DXD ADC technology, which, when combined with different monoclonal antibodies, produce ADCs. After the DXD ADC is administered, it remains stable in circulation. This helps minimize the systemic release of DXD payload and promotes delivery to the target cancer cells. Once the DXD ADC arrives at the target cell, the monoclonal antibody selectively binds to the surface antigen found on the target cell and facilitates internalization of the entire DXD ADC into the cell. After internalization, the linker is selectively cleaved by lysosomal enzymes, breaking down the DXD ADC complex and releasing DXD topoisomerase 1 inhibitor payload directly inside of the target cell. The DXD payload then enters the nucleus of the cell, causing DNA damage and cell death. The released payload is cell membrane permeable, which enables a bystander anti-tumor effect, resulting in elimination of both target and neighboring cells present in the tumor microenvironment. The Daiichi Sankyo Oncology portfolio contains several DXD ADCs each pairing DXD ADC technology with different monoclonal antibodies. Each DXD ADC is designed to selectively bind to a different target. The major innovations of Daiichi Sankyo's DXD ADC technology, a tumor-selective cleavable linker combined with a highly potent cytotoxic payload were developed through our efforts to deliver on the potential of ADCs. As we continue to explore new applications for this cutting-edge DXD ADC technology, we honor our mission to innovate with integrity and accountability. We hope the core of our passion helps improve standards of care around the world. Our collective craft is medicine, and our passion is innovation. Because we seek to create innovative medicines for longer, better lives, we're guided by our commitment to enrich the quality of life around the world. Passion for innovation. Compassion for patience. Daiichi Sankyo.